The herd of Wellington the penguin. He's one of the shed's favorite residents. What a cutie. He earned his internet fame this year for his field trips that he's taken around the shed to the Field Museum and even Soldier Field. He went out there. Today is Wellington's 33rd birthday. So Wellington and shed animal care specialist Tracy Deacons is joining us now. Happy birthday to you, <laughs> Wellington. Big applause. How do you celebrate? He's going to be celebrating with a big birthday cake. One of our animal care experts made him a cake with some fish and ice and gelatin. So he's going to have a good time. Well, he's not sharing, right? <laughs> well, Maybe. The, the pandemic's been tough for you know most of us who have to spend way too much time at home. But I feel like Wellington has really put the miles on. Uh, does, do you think he notices that he's actually gotten to leave the confines of the shed over the last few months for all these field trips? You know, it's actually something that we do on a regular basis. Even before all this, we were taking our penguins on field trips. So to Wellington and to the other penguins here at the aquarium, it's really nothing new. It's really good for them to go on those field trips, get to see different sights and sounds and explore at different areas is really good. Get some exercise. Yeah, you don't want to make the other penguins jealous. That's for sure. So everybody's got to no. come along. <laughs> <laughs> we have 36 penguins, so we want to make sure everyone gets a chance. Right, so everybody needs attention. Everybody needs attention. I want to talk a little bit about the shed and how things are going for you guys because I know that a lot of our big attractions here in Chicago and cultural centers and things like that have had uh, to shut down or have been impacted uh, in some way by the pandemic. How are you guys sort of holding up? How are you doing? Yeah, we're doing well. We are trying to go virtual with a lot of our programs. So right now we have a virtual penguin encounter, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Get behind the scenes and up close just like this with some of our penguins. We have otter encounters, sea lion encounters, and a lot of other virtual uh, things that you can do. Uh, if you check out shedaquarium.org, you could check those out. And uh, otherwise, our animal care has really stayed the same. They're getting all that same top level of care that they were before all this. I know the care has stayed the same, but but do you think all of your friends at the shed have, have noticed that the people are missing? They might. They don't see uh, people behind, you know, on the outside of their exhibit. Mm. So some of the fish I know might be uh, coming out a little bit more or less because of the lack of public. And then obviously Wellington can go to a few different places <laughs> now that every place is closed. You can kind of get a run of the place. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the star power of Wellington, because I imagine that you guys are getting probably emails and, and texts and, and tweets about uh, Wellington quite a bit. Is it surprising? to you that it's become such a big deal? Yes, every day we're getting new requests for uh, Wellington specifically, but all the penguins really have <laughs> gone viral and uh, it's been really fun for us, really fun, I think, for the penguins getting to go around and check out everything. So um, we, we enjoy it. It gives us an opportunity to share the knowledge of penguins with all of uh, our guests now around the world, mm -hmm, really. Mm -hmm. So you have a chance to uh, share more about the penguins to everyone, which is really, really great for us. Very cool. Hey, happy birthday, Wellington. Happy you birthday. enjoy yourself and just, you know, have fun with that cake, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. We appreciate it. Coming up next for us, Aaron Ivory.